Yes, this is not a Denny Hamlin 164, but this is one epic custom NASCAR diecast. Here's Kyle Busch's 2009 Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Eminem's Toyota Camry. Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again with a awesome freaking custom diecast here. Now, a lot of y'all probably clicked on the video and thinking, where in the world did you get this car? This is a custom diecast, and we're going to be doing a full review on this car. I can't freaking wait. Look at that silver side skirts on this. Look, I tell you, this is one of the most beautiful Kyle Busch paint schemes he's ever ran. Like, seriously. He ran this car, I think, at the 2009 Sonoma race, because this was probably a summer movie. It's the Transformers movie. Uh, I forget which one of the series it is. I, I think I've actually watched this one, though. I think it's Revenge of the Fallen. I, I, I can't remember what happens, but I've seen uh, some of the, uh, the recent, or, well, then it was recent, uh, Transformer movies. But anyways... This was a custom die cast that my buddy WBD die cast made for me. Now, he, he told me he's taking a break, so, you know, be patient with it. But if you want to get a car like this, just go DM him on Instagram. Again, WBD die cast. I'll have a link down below for that because I tell you what, man, his work is some of the best I've ever seen. And without further ado, let's, well, let's get this bootleg Diddy Hamlin car out of the box. Alrighty, folks, out of that good old box, and I tell you what, man, this is one of the most detailed custom die casts I've ever seen, bro. Like, I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I mean, the pattern on this, it, it reminds me so much of the the red and blue Jeff Gordon cars. Like, that, let's be honest. And what's funny is this is a 2009 car, so this was the first year that Jeff Gordon ran the black car with the red and, like, you know, yellow-orange flames. This is a I, I, I can't even describe how cool this freaking diecast is. So, once again, WBD diecast made this car for me. And uh, he told me this car was a pain to make. <laughs> I can tell. So, not only did he get the winglets wrapped in decal, which I appreciate so much. He got the side skirts painted. He even got the front splitter painted. I mean, that takes a lot of freaking work to do. He got the roof rails painted. I mean, this cat went all out to get this freaking car built. Look, these, these full wraps on these COTs, I tell you what, these things, they're hard to freaking wrap. Oh, red Eminem over here with the, the good old Transformers helmet. Very cool right there. You got over here on the front, you got the Camry logo right there. And I tell you, this was, I could tell, look, I've used these decals before. And I tell you, they are, they're the best decals you could probably buy. But they're so difficult to use at the same time because, like, what it probably was, this headlight decal, this headlight decal, this one, this one, the Camry logo. This is all separate. So he had to put the whole, like, actual red and blue paint scheme on the car. Then he had to put the contingencies. Then he got to put the headlights, all these little decals. It's, it's unbelievable how much time each one of these customs take. You know, that's why some customs cost so much or they take so long to build. It's because they truly are works of art. So you got uh, Goodyear Gatorback belts right there. The decal's a little bit wonky, job, But I tell you what, I've had that on probably every custom die cast I've made. I've had that issue. So you got mail right there. Comp, Edelbrock, Raybesto, Wix air filter. Snoko, Wix right there. Absolutely stunning, beautiful die cast here. Uh, I believe he painted the car red before. Yeah, you can see the red underneath. So he probably shot the car red. And he put the wrap over there, which is smart. Because when you're doing a full wrap, like I said... Most of these templates were made back in yesteryear, um, and they don't fit exactly the best. Like, you can see around the edges here how it don't fit. That's why you pre-paint your crap. So when you put it on there, it all lines up. That is a pro. I tell you, that's a pro thing right there. I wish I'd known that a long time ago. I tell you, I, I've made so many bad customs, and I still do make bad customs, to be honest with you. So you got Nas Energy right there, you got Skittles, uh, I think that's Twix right there, yeah, combos, and that's it on the B post, and you could see how, like, the decals were different, like, he had to cut this one out, put that there, cut this one out, place that there, I'm telling you, man, this, this was a piece of work to do. Uh, you got NASCAR race car right there. You got NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Coors Light Pole Award, O'Reilly Autometer, Jags, EA Sports, Dow Chemical, USG, Mechanics Shore, Holly, 3M, Direct TV, Tissant, Lincoln Welders, Mac Tools. Got the Goodyear logos there. Got the 18 right there. Very sharp. You got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Now, this decal's a little bit wonky, y'all, but what probably happened here is he already clear coated it, right? He already he probably had it in place, clear coated it, maybe it moved. Or he put the car on there and it like it like because sometimes the decals they'll stretch 
and when that happens it, you can't just peel it back up because then you'll you could ruin the paint and have to redo the whole car these wraps ain't cheap i'm telling you uh so I, I understand that even though it's a bad decal placement if it was over here in the quarter panel it wouldn't be noticeable it's just it's just unfortunate but i tell you what man i love this die cast so you got interstate batteries right here at Doosan. you got uh, was that mac tools sherwin williams food lion freightliner and simians over to the right rear quarter panel that's freaking awesome got the m&m's dude over there he's all looking like a bootleg bionicle i tell you what that is really cool interstate batteries logo there got m&m's right there on the winglets and he even painted the winglet too like i said he shot the car red so he had to go and hand paint this freaking winglet look how much detail like he got i mean that's hard to paint trust me i've i've made too many custom cot's to say that it is a pain to paint these spoilers so you go over here to the caboose of this Toyota Camry. You got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Got M&M's. M&M's got your, uh, your TV camera right there. Number 18. Kind of have like a, a, a metal plate back bumper. Very similar to the M&M's cars that he runs. Like the diamond plate uh, look on the, you know, the side skirts or on the back bumper. So that's a nice touch with the uh, Transformers theme. Then over here to the right side of the car. And I, I just love this freaking die cast. I've seen a photo of this car at Sonoma. I'm like, bro, I got to get this car. So if we're on the roof, you got the number 18. And this is how a stock car should look, in my opinion. Just a big old roof number. Very clean, very sharp. Um, you can see there's, like a, I think, an interior scratch right here on the back window. Or maybe some glue. I'm not sure. Uh, this was based off, I'm pretty sure at least, a uh, Gold Series 164 scale car. I believe it was a Gold Series car. So um, I don't know how the condition of the car was before. But I tell you, I, I just amazing work truly amazing work and over here on the deck lid you got a giant m&m's logo nice i tell you what man we need more people to make custom nascar die casts because customs are too darn cool not to make bro i freaking love this car i wish i could make a car as good looking as this i mean it, this is incredible work here i mean maybe the most detailed 164 custom i've ever bought i mean this thing is just absolutely flawless if y'all want to see more custom nascar die cast reviews gotta give the video a big thumbs up make sure to like comment and subscribe of course go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my new nascar die cast reviews i tell you what man i freaking love this car tell me what y'all think about this car down below in the comment section and again if y'all want a car like this gotta go uh, message wbd diecast on instagram again he told me he was taking a break from making customs because he made like two, uh, 200 of them or something like that. So I totally understand. Uh, but yeah, just uh, get back with him. Maybe in the near future. Or maybe you can get one of these things made. Anyways, folks. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.